Have you ever spoke to someone and that person is rejecting what you are saying and you're not just coming up with stories or you sharing your wisdom, but you're coming with the word of God, what the word is saying, how God loves us, how he welcomes us, how he wants to forgive us, how we can ask for forgiveness, we can cast our burdens to him and you feel like the person is not listening, they're just rejecting everything that you are saying. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy Sherries. Um, in today's video, we continue with praying and fasting and that's a commitment I made to me and God that I will pray every day until the last day of the month. So guys, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, welcome to the family and in this channel, we love God, we glorify God. Um, we correct each other using the word and the most important thing that we do, we do not talk what we know in our minds in what we heard from somewhere uh, but we talk what the word of god is saying so i was speaking to someone who's really going through a tough time you know uh, this person is very close to committing suicide and you can actually hear from their voice so every time you talk to them you have to be careful and, and just share the word of god so i'm one person who won sugar coat yes i'll come with kindness with kindness, with encouragement, but I will use the word of God. I would say, come to church. I would say, God forgives. So yeah, today I just felt like um, this person was rejecting what I was saying. So I know there's someone out there who's probably going through the same thing where they feel everything is just their burden, where they feel like um, they're responsible to support different families, or maybe you are a breadwinner at home, or maybe you even a child, but responsible to support the whole family and feel like everything is just a burden for me alone. So I just want to encourage you that God doesn't want us to carry such a burden. We are not created to carry such burdens. God says, cast your burdens to me. So we are going to cast all the burdens that you are carrying. And also as well, don't block the word of God. Don't stop going to church because if you are feeling like that, you are wounded emotionally. So if you do not go to church, you will be like that sheep that is alone there. And obviously the devil will go and attack you. But then if you are with the believers, you are protected and you do not need to say, okay, I won't go to church because they didn't help me. No one is responsible to help you but God. We can encourage you. We can um, share the word. We can take your calls. But then God knows you better than anyone else. So if you are going through a difficult time, just know God is right next to you. If you are going to wait for Lindy to encourage you, what if Lindy, Lindy is a sinner. What if Lindy doesn't, communicate with you or what if Lindy doesn't even go where you feel like there's a there's pain but God knows where our pains are so go to him and um and just cast it all cast it all guys no one is supposed to carry any burden and if you ask if you are feeling like it's too much you're working but their salary is spread into so many um places like your family your family your parents your you know just all these family members all expecting you and maybe not even wanting to work you can cast all of that to god but at the same time you need to put boundaries you need to put boundaries if someone is supposed to work that person must look for a job and you need to make sure that they do find a job or maybe they do do something they must do something. No one is supposed to be idle doing nothing. The Bible says, look at the end, you sluggard, because we are not supposed to sit. So in First uh, John 1 verse 19, it says, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So whatever it is that you've done before and you feel like you have guilt, you cannot go to God and ask for forgiveness. Go, go. You cannot carry all of that. We are not carrying anything. After this fasting and praying, I want everyone to be free, knowing that God will carry everything for us. We do not need to carry anything. We just run to God, give everything back to him, and he will deal with the situation the best way, more than anyone can do it for you. So yeah, guys, um, that's it for today. I am going to pray for today. And I hope you guys are good. And I hope you guys are going to cast your burdens. Sorry, guys. 
you are going to cast your burdens to God. So guys, if you see the light going off, it's because I'm in the garage and there's a sensor. Yeah, the lights are just sensing. So if there's no movement, then I experience that. So let's just close our eyes and pray because also my phone, the battery is low. It might switch off any time. So if it does switch off, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. Your Lord, um, I'm glad I know you. Because people in the world out there, they're really struggling. The more we run away from you, or Lord, the more we find ourselves in situations where we cannot really handle, or Lord Maria. In Jesus' name, or Lord, I just want to pray for myself. I know sometimes, Father, I can let my mind run, Lord, and, and without arresting the mind according to what your word is saying, that we shouldn't let our mind run wild thinking about different things that won't benefit us a lot mighty in jesus name i come for I, I i come and pray for that person right now who's sitting alone letting their mind run and and, and and entertaining all the negative thoughts lord i pray in jesus name that you will be with that person oh lord mighty lift them oh lord mighty give them the truth oh lord mighty make them come out of that situation out of that darkness oh lord mighty so that they can experience the love that we get from you oh lord anyone who's feeling not loved right now, oh Lord, mighty in Jesus' name. Yo, you love us more than anyone, oh Lord. Mighty people out there will love us without uh, with conditions, oh Lord. But you, oh Lord, you love us unconditionally, oh Lord, mighty. Mighty in Jesus' name. I pray for that one, Father, who's feeling guilty because of something that they have done. Lord, I pray, Father, for true repentance, oh Lord, mighty. Repentance that make them realize, Father, that they've sinned against you. Be with them, O oh Lord mighty. We do not want anyone, Father, in this channel, O oh Lord mighty, to miss the boat, O oh Lord mighty, the boat of the boat of going to you, O oh Lord mighty. Mighty in Jesus' name, I bring everyone, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, back to you, O oh Lord, because only you know how to solve our problems, O oh Lord. Thank you so much, Father, for loving me, for blessing me with all the blessings that you have blessed me. Lord, bless everyone, O oh Lord mighty. Most of me, most importantly, O oh Lord Mary, as we are continuing praying for fast, fasting and praying, O oh Lord Mary, for financial breakthrough, O oh Lord Mary, I pray, Father, that you will be content, O oh Lord Mary, because it is when we desperate, it is when we suffer, O oh Lord, it is when we put responsibilities of other people on us, yet we are also a responsibility to you, O oh Lord Mary. In Jesus' name, as we go to sleep, O oh Lord Mary, I pray in Jesus' name that you will be with us. Those who are going to work, O oh Lord Mary, please be with them, O oh Lord. Bless them, help them, O oh Lord Mary, as they are working at work. And truly grateful, Father, that they even have a job, O oh Lord Mary. Help our kids, O oh Lord Mary. The mind, Lord Mary, I do not want it to run, O oh Lord Mary. I want it to be arrested by your word, O oh Father, the word, Father, that is living and active, O oh Lord Mary, sharper than any double-edged sword. Be with us, O oh glorious Lord. Thank you, glorious Lord, for your love, for the Bible, for the Holy Spirit, and most importantly, for Jesus Christ dying on the cross for us. We're truly grateful, O oh Father. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.